Hi guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. If you have read the title, you're probably going, what is happening? And I mean, we kind of feel the same way too, except that we've planned this for like a year. Um, we got a puppy. Um, so we wanted to expand our family um, and we just felt like there was a need for another dog in our family. Biscuit has been such a joy and I love him so much. He's been such a good boy. He turned seven in um, December 2016. I just could not love him more. He He's just the sweetest thing. Um, he can be kind of standoffish if you're a man or a child or he doesn't know you. But once he knows you, he is a complete love bug. He just wants to be loved and petted and he just has such a little personality. I just love him to pieces. So Eric and I were talking for a very long time about adding a puppy to the mix, how Biscuit would do with it, what about our time, how are we gonna take care of a puppy, training. Um, we wanted to make sure that we were in a house before um, we started talking puppy and thinking about you know all of those sorts of things. Um, and then it came down to probably the longest debate of all, not really a debate, but we just had so many conversations for probably the entire year before we had a puppy of going, do we want this dog? 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 I would absolutely love a second Cocker Spaniel. Here comes Biscuit right now. Biscuit! Come here. Oh, there you are, handsome with that bow tie. Um, there's the handsome biscuit. The handsome biscuit. Oh, aren't you so sweet? Aren't you so sweet? Chest whoops, huh? You gonna take a little nap? You gonna take a little nap? Okay. Um, so I would love a second biscuit. I'll just scoot over here with him. I would love a second biscuit. Um, and Eric really wanted a slightly larger dog. Biscuit is only 25 pounds. He's a medium dog, but he's kind of on the small side for a medium dog. And certainly for a male Cocker Spaniel, he's kind of smallish. Um, but I love him that way because he's just a lap dog and he can do whatever. And that's his kitty cat right there on the bed. One of them. Not his true love kitty cat. That's one we bought to try to have a backup in case something happened to the other one. He doesn't really care about that one so much. But anyways. Um, so Eric wanted a slightly bigger dog. We talked about Weimar Reiners, we talked about Bloodhounds, we talked about Labs, we talked about Golden Retrievers, we talked about all kinds of dogs. Um, ultimately, what we decided was that we wanted an English Springer Spaniel. Um, his parents have had two English Springer Spaniels. I absolutely adore Spaniels, clearly. I love their face, I love their personality, I love their traits. Um, I love their sort of outdoory, explorer, kind of follow their nose attitude about them. Um, so yeah, we decided to get a puppy. So I will get the puppy and show you guys in just a second. But he is such a chore. When I got Biscuit, he was like 13, 13 and a half weeks old, something like that. So he was much older than Puppy is. Puppy is eight weeks old. Um, so he is a handful, constantly taking him to the bathroom and him pouncing around and making sure that he doesn't eat something and choke to death on it or walk someplace that he shouldn't be, like through the fence and into the creek, like right next to our house. So, um, he's doing really, really well with going outside and we're trying to crate train him so that when we're away for short stints of time, he doesn't just like go potty all over the house, so he's doing so well with all of that. Biscuit, on the other hand, is a little bit jealous. So I know everyone's gonna go, how's Biscuit doing with it? Biscuit is really jealous. He's um, kind of mad. He doesn't really wanna play with the puppy. <laughs> um, he's getting a little bit less mad and less standoffish every single day. So that's good. Hopefully after about a week or two, he realizes that the puppy is not just a visitor and that the puppy will in fact be staying. Um, the puppy is the sweetest little thing. He's, I think he's gonna turn out to just be quite 
a loving, sweet, gentle-hearted, calm dog as well. I hope Biscuit's really calm, and I love that about him. He's always just been that easygoing, where he's just like, oh, let me just lay here. Oh, yeah, he passed out already. Passed out. Don't mind my boxes of stuff over there that I need to put away. So, anyway, so far, puppy is so, so healthy. I have no idea how much he weighs. If I had to take a guess, I would say maybe six pounds. Yeah. So let me go get that puppy. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Here he is. Oh, how precious is he? His name is Buster. Look at those sweet little freckles on his face. And he's dark brown and white. He's got a really pretty print on the back. And that's it. That's as big as you are. Look at you crossing your little paws. It's as big as he is. He's like just, you know, two of my head. Pretty much. But my head weighs much more. Look at this sweet little face. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So his name is Buster. And his middle name is Brooks. Because Biscuit has a middle name. And Biscuit's middle name is Frederick. Because I really wanted to name him Fred. So Buster Brooks, uh, Brooks was almost his first name, but um, Buster is the name of the mascot from the college that Eric went to, which was Western Michigan University. Um, and they have a Bronco as their uh, mascot, and his name is Buster. And we just thought it was a great name. And we saw him and we're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh his little face, oh his little fa oh he's a wiggly little monkey, his little face. He is a buster all the way. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are a buster. Um, and then Brooks, the guy who hired me at my first job here in South Carolina that I got very shortly after I moved here. Oh, oh are you swimming? Oh, are you swimming? What are you oh, in about? Oh, oh, little puppy noises. Um, Brooks is the guy who hired me. And we really like the name. And it's also short for the name of the place that I worked at as well. So that had, it was in the name. So um, we were like, oh, we really, we think that would be really cute if we named our dog after the place where we met each other. So anyway, he is Buster Brooks. Oh, oh, little puppy quants. Uh, he is a handful. Such a big handful, but so, so sweet. That little face. Oh. And he makes sweet little noises and he really wants to get down and play because he just woke up from his nap and we just took him potty right now i know hi hi we just took you potty right now you know what we're gonna look at this video of you in a year and you are gonna be so different oh god you're pulling on my sweatshirt or my sweater jacket thing okay there we go he has little razor claws and razor teeth yes he does you have your first vet appointment next week to get all your shots and everything. Well, he's he's in the middle of his vaccines and everything, so he's gonna get his next round. Ooh, little face. Oh, a little white spot on his nose. And he's got kind of gray, blue, green eyes in person. It's kind of hard to tell. They may turn brown. We don't really know yet, but oh, he just wants to bite me in the face usually. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, licks. Ah, ha, ha. Anyway, we just wanted to share with you guys this sweet little addition. If you want to check out more, more information, we're going to post them on Instagram. A whole bunch. Sweet little Buster books. And hopefully him and Biscuit start to just want to spoon each other every day. I would, that's my, like, dream for the puppies to spoon each other. Oh, okay. I guess that means goodbye. Bye.